Aircraft emissions currently account for over 2% of the total greenhouse gases released every year. This rate is expected to rise 300% by 2050. This nearly $800 billion industry is facing new challenges in environmental regulations. To combat these new challenges, some manufacturers have turned to electric solutions. In order to perform controls research in this new field, the Pangborn Advanced Controls Lab has requested that our group build a distributed propulsion test bed. This video will serve as a breakdown of the project and include design methodology, planning, and management. Today you will hear from Nalanchu Patwa and myself, Palmer Reisner. The other group members are Jimmy Bramwell, Israel Monroy, and Joe Molinar. This is a pre preliminary systems diagram of what the group was charged to create by the sponsor. The diagram shows a system of an engine that runs a generator. This powers an array of motors and also powers other electronics on the aircraft. The group decided to focus on the controls of the motor array due to the time and budget limitations of this project. The team focused on building a test bed consisting of multiple motors that are all controlled by a central computer. This allows our sponsor to test different loads or flight paths and measure RPM, power, and torque. We executed this project by first understanding the needs and research goals of our sponsor by generating potential concepts for the components of the test bed and developing systems level design. After this, we built our test bed prototype and performed validation testing. We also backed our design with Simscape model for future simulations of different test scenarios. In this process, we created the systems diagram as shown above to understand how each component would be connected in our desired system. We also created following CAD models as a proof of concept before manufacturing our physical design. Here you can see our modular mobile test bed prototype out of an 8020 structure. It was built for easy accessibility and high durability, which also accounts for safety. We would like to end this video with a short clip of running our test bed. Thank you.